will need a special episode just to talk about soul ties because many of us tumekuwa you know uko na a list wanaita body count na siku hizo watu wako proud of body count at yeah eh mimi nimepiga 35 35 even in poa aje mimi niko 66 by the end of the year nataka nikuwe kawan mbao hivi it is nothing to be proud of VP DJ Raf another episode of Sheng Bible study and thank you so much kwa kila mse amekuwa akishare subscribers wana grow we on the road to 20k lakini pia youtube wame show that there are many people huge percentage wenye wana view na hawaja subscribe help the channel grow tafadhali au sio so if you haven't already it is that time lakini we get straight to it we are talking about divorce na last time tulibonga about an issue that is very very close to divorce that is adultery kwa sababu many times wase u divorce juu ya adultery and in fact Christ allowed it so hakusema that once someone cheats you have to divorce hakui mandate lakini ali allow that's what we'll be talking about and just some statistics by 2020 a survey ilifanywa showing that 17.7% that is almost 20% of all married couples wali divorce 17.7% that is in Kenya in the US ni 50% imagine so in Kenya one out of every five marriages will end in divorce and in the US one in every two na mbona na mention US ni kwa sababu many trends you know fashion nini and vitu za lifestyle and all that culture what una check from US then we also see them happening here so the fact that one in every two marriages in a break ama zina end in divorce in US in a show kuna risk kubwa yenye pia sisi tuna face in the near future all right Matthew 5:31 Bible inasema nini Furthermore it has been said this is Jesus speaking again na anasema in the old testament in the laws of Moses it is said whoever divorces his wife let him give her a certificate of divorce but i say this to you that whoever divorces his wife for any reason except sexual immorality causes her to commit adultery and whoever marries a woman who is divorced commits adultery it will have quick breakdown na tunaingia kwa history class kama kawaida unajua mimi napenda history napenda ku learn from history no apart from the bible itself kuna so many books na so many studies that have been made to help us understand the bible better this time that christ alikuwa anabonga na wase kulikuwa na wale jews wenye wako conservative wako very strict na kulikuwa na jews wenye wako liberal wame relax the rules all the rules not just about marriage and divorce lakini leo tunabonga about marriage and divorce venye tumecheki from the text is that there are those who walikuwa nasema lazima upatie msaid certificate lazima upatie wife yako certificate of divorce but then kuna wenye walikuwa na divorce wife bila certificate this is history you can go research by yourself walikuwa nasema if you tell your wife i divorce you three times umem divorce mwambia i divorce you i divorce you i divorce you it is done wewe si wife yako unaweza ndio utafuta dem mwingine then kuna wenye pia walikuwa wana divorce for very small tiny reasons history tells us kuna wenye walikuwa na divorce wife kwa sababu ameka too much salt on their eggs chakula ukisikia hiyo chumvi chakula iwezi walikuwa nasema that if your wife is unclean you can divorce them So anasema venye amenifanya ni jam juu ya hii chumvi ameka kwa hii chakula amenifanya unclean. So pia yako unclean na stuck story ya huyu wife. Then walikuwa anasema pia if you see a cleaner woman you can divorce your woman. So according to the law walikuwa na try kusema the other woman you've seen anafuata vitu za God, you pray, you fanya all those things. Lakini in secret walikuwa na maanisha ukiona mali safi kushinda mali yako unaweza achana na hii uchukue ile ingine. Christ alikuwa na kama kuwa show a uh-uh. so divorce ilikuwa rampant ilikuwa ina happen sana 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 and it is still happening venye tumecheki from those statistics one thing that we mentioned in the previous episode na nipoa tu sex especially when you're married to someone 
ume join two spirits together it is so important that you stick there lakini history ya kuruka ruka nje unapata inaleta so much confusion and again i'll say we'll need a special episode just to talk about soul ties because many of us tumekuwa you know uko na a list wanaita body count na siku hizo watu wako proud of body count at yeah mimi nimepiga 35 35 even in poa aje mimi niko 66 by the end of the year nataka nikuwe kaka mbao hivi it is nothing to be proud of your story your body count tuneza yeka tu kwa something we talked about into a crude joking and crude talk and obscene language which haifai kuwa among us as christians something we saw and i'll say this again adultery whether you're a man or a woman Old Testament yasema that you should be killed. Leviticus 2010 nasema if a man commits adultery with the wife of his neighbor both the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. In ile law ilikuwa at the time. Na Deuteronomy 22:22 22 says if a man is found lying with the wife of another man both of them shall die the man who lay with the woman and the woman so you shall purge the evil from Israel so tunacheki clearly that bible iko against divorce iko really against two people coming together na mnasema that you will be together and you have sex together and mnafika place mnasema a a history ishe but we have to look at the other side of the coin in the society today especially in the church tuna look at divorces ni kama wale wase wa kitambo wa leprosy unaona huyu mtu hakuna defect tu fulani aliachwa na wife yake ama waliachana na bwana yake ama when that happens tunaichukulia in a way that is not christian at all we have to show love in everything that tunafanya including wale wasio nyo wame divorce so if you're that person mwenye when you divorce au kuweza kukaa na bwana yako ama na bibi yako for whatever reason and now you're divorced mimi naweza takuku encourage that christianity is about love and if you've never experienced that love from human beings then it's okay turn to god ambia christ that una need hiyo love na uta feel because he is love lakini pia kuna wale wase wenye wamekuwa tu careless hawajali au unaendelea tu una una commit hizo sins manze hii kitu ni serious when it comes to sleeping with someone else's wife especially yani even people who don't believe christ even people who are not born again it is very clear to them that bibia wenyewe manze chorea no go zone utauliwa na tutakuzika langata na itakuwa fiti checking all sins are forgiven even after nimesema hizo vitu zote all sins zinaweza kuwa forgiven even if umejiingiza hiyo kitu ya ume sleep with people's wife but sin has consequences bible inatuambia the only sin that is not forgiven is blasphemy of the holy spirit blasphemy of the holy spirit inamaanisha rejecting jesus inamaanisha wewe kuamua hautaki story ya god that is the only sin that is unforgiven but pia do not continue to sin turn around turn away from your wicked ways na god atakuforgive and you will be fine. E episode na the previous episode zinani touch sana kwa sababu I know how important it is for us to protect the institution of marriage. But I have a question for you. Bible inatuambia that wife ama hazi wanafaa ku divorce only kama mtu ame cheat in case of adultery. But the question here is what if someone is violent? I know there are other reasons that you may think peers inaweza but this is the one that I think ni so straight forward to me na feel nikawa nafaa ku divorce but bible imesema only kwa sababu ya sexual immorality so let me paint you a scenario kuna wife ya mse fulani na hoja maji aichit lakini jioni anampiga tu ma uppercut mabari ma sweet videvu every single day waishi pamoja ama wa divorce on the next episode of shang bible study tunabonga about swearing cursing kama ni mse wa ma f word ma sh word na hizo zingine zote that's your episode god bless you